In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fillable PDF form where users can enter in their names, choose from a list, enter dates, or even choose options using checkboxes. Perfect. The good news about creating this fillable form is that we are going to create it using free resources. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Canva plus a free platform where we can make a fillable PDF form. So, if you like what you have seen so far and want to learn how to create a fillable PDF form, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sonic here from Template Warriors. On this channel, we help you create and sell digital products online and also help small businesses grow using the right digital tools through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, Let's jump into the video. So to create this fillable PDF form, I first of all need to sign into my Canva account. Having signed into my Canva account, I go over to create a design and I search for A4 document. I have A4 document here. You can also use letter depending upon where you are coming from. I go ahead and click on it. From here, if you want to use any template from Canva, you can come in here under templates and search for maybe form. Hit enter. Right here, there are so many form designs you can choose from. For instance, this. For this one, I have two pages. I can select any one of them and it will be inserted for me. You can also search for worksheets. With worksheets too, you have so many templates to choose from. Let me just choose this one. And you see it right there. So all what you need to do is choose a template, then you customize it to fit your needs. I've already created a form here in Canva, and that is what I'm going to use in this tutorial. Now, if you want to learn how to create this form, I have a video tutorial on it. I'll link it up in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. So after creating the form, the next thing you need to do is go ahead and save it as a PDF file. To do that, I go to share, then I click on download, and the file type, I drop down the arrow, and I choose PDF standard, and I go ahead and click on download. And it will open in a new tab. I click on download right here, then I go ahead and save it. It is saved. The next thing I do is go over to a website called Docfly. I'll leave a link to Docfly in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. Docfly is free to use. However, you can create up to three PDF files for free in a month. But if you want to create more than three PDF files in a month, you can upgrade to the pro version of Docfly. For now, the free version will serve our purpose. So all what I need to do is go ahead and drag and drop my PDF file right here. I have my file here. I'll just click on it and drag it in here. I minimize this. I have my PDF file right here. I just click on it and this will open in the PDF editor. At the moment, the form is in editor mode. What you need to do is go to form creator mode and these are the tools you can use in order to add the fillable fields. The first field I want to add in is text field. This will give you the opportunity to add a single line of text. So what you need to do is go ahead and click on it. Then you come to the particular location you want the text to appear like this. Then click. Don't worry about the size. You can customize it just the way you want. So what I do first is over here and I get these two headed arrows. I click on it and drag it to where I want, like this. I can also decrease the height. From here, I can begin to enter my text in order to see how it will come up. Perfect. This particular tool is very versatile. You can even go ahead and change the fonts from here. At the moment, you are limited to three fonts. You can choose Times New Roman or Korea. I'll leave it as the default Helvetica. Perfect. You can also change the font size. At the moment, it's set to 14. You can make it 12. 
you can even make it like 18 depending upon what you want but i will keep it as 14 for now in here you can also change the text color to whatever color you want so if people are going to fill this form this is the color they will see that is if you select this color i leave it as black you can also go ahead and make your text bold italic you can even go ahead and align it i remove italic and bold after inserting the text field at the right hand side pane you see that we have some controls you can decide to make the field required by checking this box you can even comb the characters by giving it evenly spaced characters according to the character lengths you can even apply background color border color and border width let's see how the background color will come up i click on it then if i choose this color it will be applied to the background of my text but i don't need background colors i just want to show you so i reverse it you can also apply border color like this after applying the border color what you need to do is increase the border width before you see the border perfect you see that so i go back there and i'm going to go ahead and reset everything awesome i remove the border if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue the next field i want to add is a drop down field so i click on it right here then i come in here click i can resize it just the way i want like this and this is where you can add in the choices so I click in here and I add the first drive, which is male. And I click on add. The next one is female. Add. Perfect. So if users try to drop down the arrow, they will see male and female. From here, you can sort the choices. You can allow custom choice and also allow an empty choice. With custom choice, meaning users will be able to enter their own text. And with empty choice, meaning user will be given the opportunity not to enter anything there. The next field I want to talk about is date field. I just click on it. Then I click right here. I adjust it. And I'll go ahead and increase the width. Perfect. And from here, you can go ahead and choose the date formats. I prefer day, month, and year like this. So for instance, if I insert this date, this is how it will look like. The rest of the fields are pretty straightforward. They are all text field except a checkbox here and a signature field. So let me quickly show you how you can add a checkbox by clicking on checkbox field. Then you go ahead and click in here. You can adjust it like this. From here, you can choose the checkbox style you want. At the moment it is set to check, you can use cross circle square star or diamond i'll keep it as check so similarly you go ahead and add in the rest of the check boxes the last field i want to talk about is signature i have signature field right here click on it then i insert it right here i resize it it should be noted that using any of these form fields will depend upon the kind of field you want to insert on your form and using any of them is straightforward so I'll quickly go ahead and add in the rest of the fields and get back to you. One other important field you can make good use of is text field. For instance, if a particular text is missing from your form, you can go ahead and insert it by clicking on text. Then you click at the location where you want the text to appear. Then you begin to type away. In my case, everything is there. So I'll go ahead and take it off. I just want to show you the possibilities. Now creating my fillable form is done. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and save it on top here. Then I go ahead and export it. Next, I click on download. And you see that I have three export credits. Then I click on download file. And boom, we are right there. Perfect. So with this, users can fill the form in the web browser. I can go ahead and download it. I'll give it a different name, maybe application form fillable. Then I hit save. Next, I go ahead and open up my form. I have it right here. I just open it up. So with this, you can send it to your students or customers. 
so that they start filling the form for whichever reason you created the form. So all what they need to do is click in here and enter their details. They can choose from the drop down, male or female. Enter date. Or even select some options using checkboxes. Perfect. So that's it on how to create a fillable PDF form using Canva and Dotply. Alright, that's it guys. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.